And we're back. Uh, this one doesn't really warrant a video. But I figure why not? We'll keep the chronology of the build process intact, I guess. And I had time to kill. Uh, a year and change ago, I bought this Geisley DDC front uh, rear flip. They didn't have a full set at the time, so I figured screw it. I'll buy the rear. <coughs> and I'll just snag the front somewhere else. Problem is that somewhere else really never materialized. I mean, I'm not, I've been searching and searching hardcore, but every once in a while, every couple of weeks, I'll do a search for it, and uh, and, and everywhere I look, uh, they're out of stock on Geisley and all the third-party, you know, sites. Uh, once or twice I came across a full set, but I don't need a full set, then I'd have an extra rear, and, then, and why spend the extra hundred, you know? So I kind of came to the point where I lamented and said, well, I, I can't find this. Maybe I'll find one in the future, but I've been looking for a year off and on. And so what I did was I said, well, let me get something that will work decently with it. At least I hope it does. Uh, so here we go. This is the uh, Troy. I believe it's the rounded HK one. I don't know if I screwed up making that choice. And then there's a whole other contention of where do I run it? Because if I'm running a scope with an offset dot, isn't running irons kind of a third redundancy at that point that's really unnecessary? I don't know. Let's, uh, there. Let's see what this thing looks like. Simple. Uh, FD. Oh, it's actually a nice match. Get that bad boy out of there. Uh, are you vacuum sealed? No. Okay, so it's hefty. Now, how does this actuate? You just push that and flip. Hmm. Okay. Now, how far back does that flip? Do I have enough room? Let's raise this up. And this is standard with a flathead. Let me get my flathead here. Where's my small one? I don't want this big hulking one. There we go. Okay. So, I mean, I don't, I think it's kind of unnecessarily redundant. Let's see how much room I need. Okay, yeah, yeah it looks like that, uh, looks like that uh, ramp for the mod lights going to have to go back one rung. Because it's just, I mean, I can run it up, <laughs> but it's kind of silly to do that, right? And I don't know what that's going to do for my scope. Now, the other issue and the contention is this is a fast mount. It's tri-bolted. It's not QD. So, <sighs> scope fails. You still can't really pull this off easily to run your uh, irons. Not like I can with the Trigicon over here on the Noveski. You know, that's QD. The bet pops right off. So, although aesthetically it looks cool, I just from a functionality standpoint, it seems unnecessary. So another option is to just take these off of the Sun's Geisley completely. And maybe run them, well, I could run it on the ODG Geisley and move the brown Daniels over to, who doesn't have them? Uh, well, the brown would look weird on the gray man, but, well, I could run the, move the blacks over from the ADM over to the gray man and then run the browns on the ADM and then run the 
Geisley and the FDE Troy on this. From an aesthetic point of view, that might work. Uh, same issue, though, with the front flip. I'm going to have to move that switch back to the point where it's just not comfortable. It's going to have to come at least down to here. And then I'm kind of actuating back here. So you don't have much room for... It's a shorty build, too, so you want as much forward grip as you can get for control, I guess, right? So, yeah, that's where I'm at with that. I don't see the point. I mean, it looks cool on here. And we'll slap it on. I got to move this ramp back, but just for some giggles, see what it looks like. Let me loosen that up. Oh, that came all the way off. Feels This Troy feels really well made, though. Now, how does that go back on? It's directional, right? Shit, I don't know. Hold on. Okay, now, what, how do you go back on? Where's the angle? Is that like that? Shit, I didn't pay attention. Let's go on this way. This should fit into the groove on some level. That's it right there. Is this feeding or what? Right, hold on. I had to pull it all the way up, didn't you, Jake? Is that not right? It's not as intuitive as you'd think it would be, like the Geisley. It's an odd triangle shape kind of thing. picture. No, I'm having trouble with this. This is simple shit. Is it like that? Seems to be, but it's not threading. There we go. Okay. So, I need to move that ramp back. One rung should do it. Hmm. What size are you, bud? You are a star. Maybe this one I have out was actually a bit different. Yeah, perfect match. Let's see if we can do this without it falling into pieces. Will you lift up for me, bud? No. I mean, the cable would have caught it, but okay. Move one of these.
just less is more. I killed my original mod button because I over torqued the damn thing and just snapped on me. So, as long as it's on there decently. Alright, so now all right, well, I actually went a little too far back. Let's see. Is that going to be too shallow? Well, I can always move. Eh, not, not terrible. Yeah, actually, that's a bad. That's fine. All right. One thing I haven't done yet with this mod light is Loctite these in. I have a feeling I probably should. Some early range runs that I did with some of the lights, uh, the recoil just blew them right off. Especially the M-Lock mounts like the Arasakas. You know, that recoil hits it and it was just like falling off and I felt like a total moron. You locking in for me, bud? Or are you doing that perpetual spin thing? Yeah, you're good. Okay, and then a quarter turn for now. All right. And then where's our wire? Where's our cable? Well, it's stuck pretty good. I don't even need the things. Yeah, that's not going anywhere. This is always a pain in the ass. It's always dangling out. Wish they would have uh, came up with a solution for that. It might be removable. I don't know. It probably is, and, and I'm an idiot. You have to take it off, pull the cable out. But for now, we'll just kind of try to... Eh, we'll leave it there for now. Alright, so how hard is that to flip... Just pull, or do you have to hit the button? A little stiff. Yeah, that flashlight's right up against it. Mod light, rather. And it's having... Oh, the flashlight's inhibiting... Weird. Okay, the, flat, the mod light is inhibiting it from actuating. Well, that's not good. The only way to solve that, I mean, it's basically buttered right up against that cylinder there. And it's st it's stopping it just enough where this won't fold. So, I need to need... Um, it's also limited, the Geisley rail, you only have so much M-lock. I could do a pick rail mount and extend the flashlight even further kind of don't want to do that but or just leave the side up now again we're back to the is this a redundancy that's just stupid oh yeah this this is a heavy boy let me see my sight picture well my crosshairs are drastically higher but it's in the sight picture and it's a bit of a distraction. I'm not sure what the best way to go is. I think I might just not run them at all on here. I mean, I have an offset. It's a shitty offset. Primary SLX, 130 bucks, but it's an offset. For now, anyway. Uh, 
I just don't see the benefit of running these irons and the flashlight is inhibiting the mod light. I keep saying flashlight. Mod light is inhibiting actuating it to fold. I mean, I could just leave it down if we loosen up the, uh, the mod light for a second and leave it down. But that begs the question, is there a point to even having it on at all? I don't know. Above my pay grade. I mean, I'm just a LARPer kind of dude who barely shoots his guns. It's not like I'm out on some battlefield somewhere where my life is depending on this functionality. Yeah, so yeah, that's going to come out pretty far to actuate. So, I have to make a determination. Now, once that's on there, I can just tighten this back up. And Now, we did see it did uh, fold up once, so it allows that. I just can't fold it back down without loosening up the, flash, the uh, mud light. So. Hmm. Yeah, it looks cool. Well, that's nothing wrong with having stuff that look, looks cool. But is there a point to it? Is this on properly? Yeah. Is there a point? I don't know. And to flip that, that's going to be up against that head. Yeah, I wouldn't want to run the flashlight further back. The shadow is going to be insane. If anything, this is too far back. I'd, I'd rather this be up some more. And the only way to accomplish that is probably... Where's my inline? Here, Noveski's running an inline, but that's M-Lock. I don't know if they make a Picatinny-based... Uh, that's the Arasaka inline mount. Maybe they make a pick one? I hate to spend more money on something that's not necessary, but... You know, it's a tight fit. If I do want to run irons, I don't know if, if it's redundant. I'll post a couple pictures and ask some of the groups what they think. I don't know. I could always run the Geisley and that back on here and move the browns over to the ADM. The green and the brown looks cool. And the blacks over to the green man. And then we're pretty much all covered because I'm not running irons on the Trigicon yet. Not even on the uh, Noveski. I'm not even sure if I have enough room on that rail for some folders. The front one, yeah, I could make that work, but on the rear, I don't see enough. I don't see enough space. How much room is that taking up? That's on the first possible rung. Hmm. All right. Well, I'll have to figure that out. It's a minor thing, but. Uh, it is a, something to think about. I could, uh, well, that is M lock right here. I could get another in line and run that lower. Run that. Oh, wait. I could probably invert that Arasaka, right? We'd have to take it off and do a 180 with it. I could, conceivably, I think I could do that. That might solve the problem. So if that was inverted, obviously it's going to get flipped. I just want to see what the line is. The line that the mod light would be on would be kind of low. So you're talking like here. Because that would, that would be lined up like that. I'm not sure if that's feasible either. Huh. Well, we'll have to figure it out. I'll ask some questions, see what guys think. They know more than me. See what uh, makes logical sense. And go forward from there. Well, that's a quick overview of the uh, front HK style Troy flip mount. Overall, it seems really well made, super solid. I watched a couple of videos on these, they're battle proven. I think they have uh, 
some deals going with the military for supplying these. I still have yet to figure out how to truly properly zero irons. I haven't. It, I kind of skipped over that since I was focused on optics. But that should be a skill set that I should also do, I guess. I don't know. Like I said, there's a lot to learn. I still need some uh, ambi safeties on here. I stole the radiant talons for the oh, did you guys see? Or I may just get something different for this and return those over here. I don't know. Now it's, you know, we're at the final little tiny bits and pieces now just to get everything exactly the way I want it. Functionality, they're all good to go. Uh, I still need a couple of Knox devices, like I said in the other video. One for this 13.7. And one for, this guy's running an 8.2 right now. Um, and this guy, I think I'm just going to stick with running the Midwest Industries. It's decent. Once I have a barrel. All right. That's it. Have a good week. Peace.